explain what the, the sign here means? Well, if you look at the statistics, white men cause more violence and murder and everything else in this country than any other ethnic group. So if we're going to look at what the real threat to our national security is, it's white men. What are you, uh, like the statistics that you refer to, where do you uh, draw those from? Like national statistics, statistics yeah. on murder and violence, gun violence in America. Okay, so the same statistics. Have you seen the same statistics though, like uh, published out like through the FBI uh, Crime Information Index that they show that actually black people, 13% that they represent of the entire country here, commit over 50% of the homicides? Have, have, have you heard true. of that? Oh no, this is a fact. You could Google this at any at any amount. Okay. Uh, research to this. I so will. just and that will contribute to a lot of the gang violence, right? You can look at the war on drugs, right? That group will create a lot of violence. It's difficult for people to resolve their problems when it's illegal, right? Because government makes such things illegal. So you can't go to court and, and discuss these issues. So there's a lot of violence that occurs because of the drug war. But if you look at the facts, though, uh, I don't believe that black people are the only people involved. Well, I'm not in saying the that there are, I'm not saying there are. But if you're trying to say that white people are the one who commit the most murders or the most crime, factually, uh, black people, 13% of them, but half of them would be male, so 6% of them, right? Um, and not saying all of them, but they find that that ethnic group commits more murders than any other uh, group, ethnic group here in the United States. Okay. What well, do you think of that? Think I'll look that up, but I, I don't believe that. You don't, you don't have to believe it. It's, it's, it's a fact. It's not, a, it's not my opinion. Okay. It's, it's not my opinion. It's their own community. Just that they keep it in their own community. That's right, right. So a lot of the violence is black and black crime. Right. A lot of the violence for whites right. is white and white crime. Right. But she's saying that white people commit most of the violence here in the United States, and I think that's created a lot more racial divide oh, and kind of more like... Talk, if you're talking numbers, yeah, well, I you, guess. Right? So yeah. I, I kind of think that kind of creates more racial divides and looking at white people as oppressors and bad guys, and mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to be kind of healthy if we want to get here together, right? Well, but, but the problem is, though, we got a lot, of, like a lot of white men are making these laws for everybody. You don't see anybody up, up in color in, in the uh, you know, in the big chair. You don't. You see everybody. You, you, they make the laws for you. They never come down into the, to the neighborhoods, talk to these people. You know, they always talk about you know, uh, pulling yourself by your bootstraps, stuff like that. Economically depressed neighborhoods. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of crap. I yeah, mean, it's a lot. It's a yeah. lot. So I would say I, I would identify then, not white people. I right. would just identify the government, right. right, as being I guess the enemy, right? Right. I would say let's focus our attention. If we want to look at what's really dividing us, is the political class, the government. Yeah. Right. Well, the As thing is, though, people, people need to understand that we are. Obama's not a white man. I mean, I'm sorry, he's half white too, right? Well, is that well, right? So need to realize that the gov we are the government. That's well, the people. We're we not are. the government. No, not we are the government. No, we put these people in office, and that's the problem. The people need to take back the government. We are the government. We put these people in office, and they don't adhere to our to our demands and our needs. We lost. At what point, though, when they stop to listen and listen and they refuse, do we just say, "How about no more government"? And just put it all in the garbage can well, with all their ideas. Well, that you come really with this can't together. do that. The thing is, though, you got to start electing people locally. You got to do it locally. People have been saying the same kind of strategy. Yeah, but nobody's doing anything. Like, look at it. It them. just doesn't work then. It does work, but the problem is nobody comes out. No, nobody, no. nobody comes out. Nobody's invest their people. Nobody comes out. Nobody. Right. Nobody. And then, you know, they, you know they go, it's like Trump. I'm not even worried about Trump. Trump's not my problem. It's yeah. Congress. Right. Trump is sitting there, you know, Trump, Trump's office doing his damn thing. Meanwhile, Congress is screwing us left and right at night. You know, taking these little silly votes and stuff like that. You got all these polls saying, you know, suggesting that people, you know, like for, uh, for instance, um, uh, the gun, the gun laws. A lot of people didn't want, you know, a comprehensive gun law, like 75% of the people. But the problem is, you got the NRA telling them, no, we're not going to do it this way. Else, we're going to sit there and, and primary get some, you know, primary get you primary against some, you know, somebody else. And that's the problem right there. There's. <laughs> Everybody's going on to get. I, I'm, I'm, I get so frustrated. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you know. I, are you saying gun laws are? I think gun laws are a problem in that it prevents a lot of people from owning the means to defend themselves. Well, I right? have no problem with that. Yeah. But the point is, though, when you know, you know, for instance, like these, uh, these uh, assault rifles, long guns, whatever you want to call them. Guns. Well, they're yeah. guns. But do you need an AK-47 to protect your home? Sure. Why not? Why would you? Uh, that's my prerogative, right? I don't tell you I, how I to get do that your business or what you want in I your property. I get that part, right? but but you know, the thing is, I went to a war, and that's that's a war gun. No, a, a pistol, a little shotgun I get, but an AK-47, you can mow, I can mow down all these people right now with that in my hand right now. That's ridiculous. You no, don't need that for protection. So how about then, if you want to be consistent then, mm -hmm. nobody is allowed to have it then. 
Not even the government. I mean, I believe it. Like I said, I was in the military. Right? I believe owning guns, but there's some guns you just need to stay in the battlefield. Well, no, this no, is not no. a battlefield. Well, it's just not a battlefield, but you no. see that, uh, what, millions of people are locked up into cages for victimless crimes. It's yeah. here at home. You're yeah. in the military, too. So it's eyes here at home mm. where we're losing our freedom, not overseas. The battlefield is here in which we're continuing losing yeah, the freedoms that they tricked us into thinking that we were protecting, that we're granting more freedoms. But that mission has failed. We're not, we're not getting freedom. We're losing freedoms. Right, right, right. So this is the battleground. Right, so right. why would you want to disarm the very people here from the very government that continues to rob I'm them. I'm not saying disarm them, but we don't need battlefield gear. We just don't need it. Like, if you see a cop walking down there looking like a stormtrooper, you're going to feel intimidated or you're going to feel protected? Yeah, I'm uh, going to feel intimidated, yeah. So you're saying that nobody should have it, not even the government? I mean, we're not, this is not a war. This is not a war zone. This is the United States of America. This is not a war zone. That's the thing I'm trying to, trying to tell you. This is not a war zone. We're, we're not out there you know, wearing flak jackets everywhere we go. This is, this is the United States. I understand protect yourself with a gun. I get that. But we don't need these assault rifles. This is not a war zone. I, I don't want, I don't, I don't I, you know, when I, get, when I got out of the military, I sold my gun. And people are like, why did you sell your gun? It's like, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel the need to walk around the United States to protect myself like that. This is the United States. I'm not scared to walk around. This is my neighborhood. Everywhere, everywhere I go in the United States is my neighborhood. I shouldn't have to be scared. For me to get there and get an assault rifle, that means I, I became scared. I'm you not going to be scared. You know what the odds scared. are of you actually being killed by a gun are? Not a lot. It's exactly. actually less than 1%. Exactly. Right? So that you shouldn't worry about whether somebody has, has not, an AK-47 then, because the odds of you being shot by one is next yeah, but, to zero. Yeah, but the problem is I don't want to get shot by one. Well, you're not. Could, the, the, statistically, it's right. less than 1%. You're, there are no odds of you. You're more odds by eating uh, alive by a shark than getting yeah, being shot by AK-47. Uh, yeah. So let's not worry about what people should have in their private homes. Let's worry about the government then that's mm. doing all this kind of violence here to those people and to people overseas as well. Right? How many how many countries did Obama bomb in the past eight years? I mean, come to you, everybody bombed in the last 50 years. Right, 50 years, right. The United yeah, States government Obama, has murdered 30 everybody, million people, right? Everybody. Democide is a real word. Uh, right. There's a city in Pennsylvania that the cops carpet bombed this whole neighborhood, right? This is a war zone where a lot of people are getting shot for victimless crimes, yeah, thrown ridiculous. to cages for victimless crimes. Uh, I would say government itself, by definition, is a war on peaceful people. Uh, uh, and their way of life that they want to live, they don't want, they want to be left alone, do their uh, own I, thing. I still, I still beg you. I still think that we are, we're still the government. This is the government right here. This is me, though. You know, I believe. Yeah, I, I, you know, I hear you. I hear you. You know, but only, uh, we, only, the only thing we can do is pre try to prevent it as much as we can. Try to push back as much as we can. Dissent, right. the whole nine. And I don't. Yeah, and I think coming together as we are here as a community is a great way to go about it. Right. But her sign saying that white people are pretty much uh, the cause and problems over this is very divisive. It's kind of very well, racist. I know, what you, you know? I know what you're saying on that, yeah. but like, it's, but at the same time, she's looking at who's, who's in power. That's what she's looking at. They're black people in power. They're Latinos in power. Yeah, not but not, not this kind of power. You know, the, the Trump as president, one thing about the president of the United States, he has awesome power. That president has awesome power. And he dictates from the top down. So he's allowing some of this stuff to come through. You know how he got some of those powers, though, right? Through Obama, increasing. Well, I mean, I get that part, but he could have changed it. He could have stopped. We changed it. It's not for the good, ban, but you know. right. This whole ban here that people mm. are complaining about, mm. Obama signed that into law in 2015, right. the Terrorist Prevention Travel right. Act. Right. Obama listed those countries. Right. Trump didn't just say, "Well, these are the countries." And I, Obama I caught this morning. I caught it this morning. Where was all this angst? Where was all this anger when Obama signed that into law? Got Muslim getting banned. A whole bunch of crap. It wasn't there. It wasn't oh. there. Um, I, I think this kind of fervor and this kind of uh, intensity should continue to carry out even mm -hmm. after Trump, no matter who is in that position, right? Whether it's oh, a Democrat yeah. or Republican. The right? cat's been out, I mean, ever since 9 11, that was it. Yeah. Shit, shit changed. That was it. After 9 yeah. 11, that was it. Every, everything's free for all, right? It's a free for all. Right. You know? Right. Uh, well, hopefully, I'll uh, continue to see you out here, uh, not just yeah. during Trump, but even whatever happens after. Well, that, I right? encourage people to sit here and vote during the midterms. That's my biggest thing right there. I'm saying, I, I try to tell them it's not worth your time. Politicians are not going to be our saviors. Right, I They're get not that, be our but salvation. you got to start somewhere. What are you going to do? you got to start somewhere. We unite as a community without politicians and grow our community larger and larger until we uh, supersede the size of the local government, which we outnumber right. already, and exactly. find out we don't need government in our lives altogether. We can have rules. We can have our community providing these services. Yeah. We just don't need... Uh, these guys with guns going out there well, arbitrarily they, they, enforcing a, crimes that they think it's bad for people. There's a place overseas, I can't name the place, but they sat there and decided they wanted to sit there and uh, have a, 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 a society where there's no laws. It lasts for a good year and it turned into chaos. Yeah, and, and we're at, we want laws, we want rules. Yeah, but we so, want government laws. I never gave consent to that. I mean, I, I get that, but you still have to have government. You still have to have laws. Well, I wouldn't call it government. I would call it, you know, community decision, right? You know, you call yeah, it Yeah, but else. it lasts for a good year. There's no, everybody Everybody was a government. Everybody in that community was a government. It lasts one, I wish I knew the name, but it lasts one year. Sure. 
<laughs> Shit just went, just went downhill. Can you, so can I give you a, a card then? We're from a non-political group. We're trying to create something outside of politics, outside of the need of politicians. Okay. Uh, so that we don't want to continue to have these problems. Uh, can I get the... Uh, <laughs> Every four years, we want to eventually end it, you know? <laughs> okay. So it's Liberate RVA, non-political group. We don't have anything to do with Democrats or Republicans or any political party. Okay. And uh, we're just trying to grow this group eventually to the sides in which we don't need to run to the voting booth fearful that they're going to take our rights away, All right? right? Uh, and that kind of worry will just uh, be long gone. We can just focus on what's real and kind of creating this kind of peace and freedom I and still, harmony. I here. Still, we still gotta go local, regardless. Well, like, we'll what you're see, doing we'll is see. a start. As, as I'm saying, right. the start. What you're doing is definitely a start. You just gotta start local. So we gotta change these people. Gotta change some of these people going off. Just gotta change. That's all. Well, we'll see then. All right. <laughs> good meeting you, man. All right. Good.